pandemic wasn't enough. Now an unstable power grid brings us to this point today. We read you a, a stream of consciousness. Welcome to Binary Jazz of updates as we started this episode. Um, um, that's what it said. How about just for my phone? Are my messages coming through? Seems everyone moved to mobile and that is overloaded as well. And none of those messages sent. And then suddenly the internet, well, the power kicked back on and eventually the internet. Ah, there it is. They've showed up all sent at 1031. Uh, hi, this is a show about pretty much nothing, um, and uh, maybe even more so today. I'm joined as always by my friends, uh, Chris and Allison, both on the internet. You can find them. If you go to binaryjazz.us, there's links to places. That's how you get to us. Usually there's a topic. We talk about it. That's, that's it. That's, a, that's the gist of it. If you're here, you know. This isn't your first rodeo. <laughs> Someone tweeted is. that one time, like, it seems like... Seems like one is not a sufficient number of rodeos no. to get the hang of things. And I agree with that sentiment. Many rodeos. Yeah. I'm going to try plugging my monitor back in. I, um, oh yeah. So it was, uh. So are you in the middle of a storm? Why did your power go out? I don't know. Oh, okay. It just, is, is just random then. Um, yeah, we did some clipping yesterday on it. Um, but, but like it, it was a good 10 minutes. It was down just now. Um, and it's a little rainy, but not, not crazy. Not like um, something's been knocked down rainy. Yeah. And it really got my pulse quickening when like, well, I can't tether from my phone. Okay. Maybe that's just a weird thing. But then the fact that like the cellular network was overloaded was also like, a. I was starting to think after 10 minutes, like, what if this is like going to be like an ongoing problem? Um, holy crap. Where you bust out the ham radio. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was trying to think like, how can I communicate? What devices do I have to communicate with that don't rely on a cellular or hardwired internet connection? Uh, and then who would I talk to anyway? And, <laughs> um, uh, and holy shit, if this is like an ongoing thing, like, like this is not the time to schedule it. No. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, um, let's see. If I, if I could not communicate by internet or cellular, um, who do I know that still has a land? I, I pay phone to England, maybe, <laughs> I guess. I mean, I don't, I probably need to look at my phone to see if I have somebody, somebody on the team's phone number. I, I yeah. was... All, was, all that all that stuff, like I don't have everybody's contact information in my phone. It's all like it's all on the internet. Why do I need it on my phone? Yeah. In the cloud. Well, and so I did what you do, right? Like power goes out. You hop on the I was trying to hop onto the company's website to report the outage, but it was so slow loading, which I retrospect the network was saturated. Um so then I'm like, well, I'll just call them because I have the number stored in my phone because it's Florida okay. and power goes out from time to time and it's reporting an outage, you know? Um and so I called and the, uh, the area where you report outages like dumped me immediately. Like you go through the menu. And so that was, that exchange was overloaded as well, which is when I started to panic a little thinking like, what if this is like a big thing, you know? And uh, like stacking disasters. <laughs> so a, a, a have, have, I, have I told you about, about the earthquake that we had a couple of weeks ago? Like it, more, more, more than, than no. more than, so, um, so we, we had, had multiple earthquake. earthquakes though. Yeah, we had the aftershocks Right, too. yeah, the aftershocks got pretty big. So we had a, a fairly large earthquake a few weeks ago. It was a 5.7. It was centered about 15 or so miles, a little bit south and west of us um, in a town called Magna. And uh, there wasn't any major damage to us. There wasn't a huge amount of damage in Salt Lake City. There was a lot of damage centered around the earthquake. And then we got a ton of aftershocks, um, some of them getting into the full range. Um, so, um, so first of all, there's the whole, like, yeah, this is not a good time for an earthquake, but along with that earthquake, uh, there was a chemical leak because it's, it's like a mining town. So there was, it was venting, um, 
I think it was venting hydrochloric acid into the air. Oh my gosh. Like, like hydrochloric acid steam. Um, and uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was, that's, that's, I mean, yeah. Pretty sure that's the beginning of an X-Men movie. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, um, and then, I mean, they, they obviously took care of it and it's not a problem now. Um, but, but yeah, like, like you have, you have global pandemic and then you have like natural disaster and then you're like, like what, what's the next part of that? Like, yeah. Um, as you were saying that I got a message from my mom, um, suggesting that in times of crisis, like, you know, the firstborn child is the one that needs to be eaten. <laughs> so I think there's your answer said that I'm the youngest my parents are going to eat me <laughs> if I'm not available next Thursday that's why parents had me for dinner well my parents are we're we're now we're now blocking people at at the state line apparently uh in Utah yeah. um to, uh, we're not I mean we're not le not letting people in but we're giving everybody needs to take a survey to see if they've like had been in hot spots or or uh, um, had any symptoms of COVID. Um, so if my parents tried to come to get me to eat me, they'd, ha they'd get stopped at the state line. Uh, and since they live in California and in the Bay Area, they probably would be told to turn around and go home. So they can't eat me. Do you, have you watched um, Bad Lip Reading on YouTube? Yes. Um, the Royal Wedding was- I didn't I watch the that wedding was. It was pretty good. Um, at some point, the, the minister says, to the cup, uh, I think to the couple. Um, what is your favorite Harry Potter character? <laughs> the answer is Hagrid, and he says, "Not correct." And I feel like that's that's the kind of questioning you would expect at the Florida border, right? <laughs> Ultimately, you'd still get through, and they give you a glass of orange juice for coming in. But <laughs> you know, um, what is your favorite color? That's the totally winner. Not correct. What is the air speed velocity of a of a sparrow? We watched that um, a while ago because I said I haven't seen this in like I don't know a decade and a half. Like, how does it hold up? It holds it's up. It's not as it's not as funny now as it, I thought it used to be. Mm. Oh, I still think it, I find it absolutely hilarious. Yeah, it holds up. I did the same thing. I was like, I haven't seen that in like fifteen years, and then, but I but see, but half the movie I was just saying the lines along <laughs> well that that may have like been annoying it too. partner so yeah i and that may have been part of it too was that like i knew the next scene and i was surprised at how well i knew what was coming next i must have watched it a lot more than i recall in my formative years i definitely at some point with my best friend in junior high like we printed out the entire <laughs> movie <That's awesome. laughs> Nice. <laughs> Which, like, I remember because we got in trouble from her parents from using up so much ink on the printer. I, um, I, oh. I printed the entire uh, Shout Along script for Rocky Horror in a similar fashion, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, like, it was the entire script and all the lines that you shot back at the, at the screen. Uh, well, okay. If we're going to be on brand. <laughs> <laughs> My printed script was um, episode four of Star Wars. I wrote a research paper my junior year on Star Wars. Nice. I don't know why they allowed me to do that. <laughs> did. I got an A on it. I think I was 25 pages beyond the minimum required. <laughs> uh, something, something, hero's journey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was, there was a lot of summarizing and explaining the imagery as I understood. And it was in the formative years of the internet. So of course, most of the internet was, um, you know, nerd culture and it was easy to find resources to reference before we had an mla format for referencing internet sources which meant i also had to find books in the library that i could put there is a reference source there reference is an materials. mla there is definitely an mla format for referencing internet sources when i like I, I feel like it probably existed because i i learned it uh in what my first year of, of college so i definitely used it uh throughout college I definitely wasn't allowed to use it in high school, or maybe I, you know, maybe it was we were just had an old, outdated MLA book, and that's why we had no, no reference for it. Yeah, I certainly did in college. I mean, so it was. Only, I mean, two years later, I certainly was referencing uh, web pages, um, which, in hindsight, like, not useful. The internet changes no. quickly. So, no, 
it's you know especially if you like you go back and look at those those sources now probably 70 to 80 percent of those are not non non-existent anymore um i am a uh, contributor to batcash the uh, automatic plugin congratulations um and my contribution was updating a link that explains um how it was named so there's a uh, that My, sounds that sounds like a legitimate Gary contribution to Ix a village. Yeah, <laughs> I was looking at it. and I'm like, why is it called Bat? I mean, I get like the no 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 Bat Cash part. That's fun, but I'm like, there's got to be a story behind it. The repo. Sure enough, in the README, which I could have read locally, but I didn't. I went to the repo. Uh, it talks about um, uh, some bat sanctuary somewhere, and I'm like, this is fantastic. So I clicked the link, like the click the link to learn more because you know Wikipedia rabbit holes don't only exist on Wikipedia. And, um, and it was 404, uh, but it was on a site. I'm like, oh no, this article still exists. This has clearly just been, the link is outdated. So I did the research and came back and updated the readme a little bit, but mostly updated the URL and open pull request. That was like six months ago and it was just merged. Um, and I'm, you know, I now feel that I can officially say that I'm open, an open source contributor because I have had code merged on three open source projects. Uh, not I, counting like agency projects that only agency uses, you know, like who cares about that stuff? <laughs> Real stuff that people use. I, uh, well, I, I contributed to core very long ago. It was mostly, I think it was just documentation. I have a, uh, a standing, um, unit test. I never want to do that again, by the way. For, for, oh, really? No. I would like to find something that I can do, but it, you know, it seems like the whole, it seems like, like r contributing the course seems like great until you realize like it's 95% like the political part of it and 5% yep. the actual code. Yeah. So I, uh, I wrote a unit test for um, uh, validating um, email addresses with umlauts, you know, because I have a passion for umlauts apparently. I don't know. I just, I wrote a test for it and, uh, and uh, it's sitting there somewhere. Actually, I should check and see. Maybe it's been merged and I don't know it. <laughs> be kind of cool. I tried to contribute at one point, but most of the issues that I thought, I'm like, oh, I got this, were taken. Like CSS stuff was snapped up pretty fast. And then I found another issue where I was like, oh, I can totally do this. And then it wound up devolving into like a weird argument. <laughs> and I just sort of like was like, nope. And like extracted myself. I was like, I don't have time for this. I just wanted to help, but I don't have yeah. time to argue yeah i feel like getting deeper into anything other than and the only reason i feel like my my updates to documentation were even merged in to begin with was a because whoever the release lead was was really like pushing to get more inline documentation into mm -hmm. the into core but also b because we knew someone who had commit access or had some sort of pull in mm -hmm. in core development and if those things were not the case then it's all about like posturing and positioning yourself and saying well, no you should definitely push this but i'm like yeah. this all the i yeah and i don't want to if i was trying to do it on my own without like someone saying yeah this is good you should merge this in because of whatever uh, and just like put it out into the ether i yeah i don't care yeah. it's um I get it. It's a huge project. And, you know, I don't, I, there's no way it can't be political with as many people using and contributing. Um, but, like, whatever. I think the thing there's, is, is you can't have it both ways. You can't expect, like, you can't be encouraging and being like, yeah, everybody contribute, but except for, <laughs> and that's like the juggling act that they try to do is like, have it be open source, but it's like you know, open source. <laughs> yeah, and I think I, I think that it's it's a messaging issue. Wow, this is a fun topic. Yeah, uh, I actually, I, I, actually I have a topic and I have a little quiz. We can just skip to the quiz. No, let's just go to the topic. I don't want to talk about WordPress core anymore. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do topic or should we do topic and quiz? When are we ending? Uh, oh, time, I guess. I, when... Do you have an eleven? Do you have a meeting at the hour? <laughs> Uh, oh no! I, I have, my meetings are officially canceled until uh, my uh, power comes back. I'm not okay. Gonna, people know because my message that says my power is out finally went through, and my power came back. So, 
I'll sit so on the, that for a little while. So I have a meeting that I don't have to go to. So, yeah, I can. So is that topic or, or skip to quiz? Let's do topic. Okay. The topic is Azurasia. Uh, and I'll spell ah. it for you. Okay. <laughs> A-G-E-R-A-S-I-A. Azurasia. A-G-E-R Asia. Yeah. That's not how I thought it would be spelled. No, I, that's why I was just like, I'm going <laughs> to offer up the spelling because I wouldn't have any idea. <laughs> Because what I was hearing was was azure, like the color Asia, which then made me think of like Eurasia and like euthanasia and <laughs> oh, those those words don't have anything to do with each other. <laughs> well, uh, as always, let's start with the suffix. The suffix, not the prefix. As Asia? we always do. <laughs> start from the back. Okay. There's a pattern here. Um, Asia is definitely a continent. Uh, yeah, and age is um, a period Not of just life. Just a number. It's, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so Azura Azurasia is definitely a continent of elderly people. Well, crack that case. <laughs> Can you imagine if it was just like Madagascar is an Asia? <laughs> uh, I feel like that's probably um, ableist, um, very ableist definition. Um, we don't want to let that stand. Uh, <laughs> no, that's fine. I, I mean, I, 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 I feel like uh, there are ways to approach this that are... Uh, perhaps less, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this, perhaps uh, less. Um, I don't know where you're going with it either. I, I would like to make it broader and I'm not sure how to do that. Okay. Like, so, to, to, here, take your idea and make it and to broaden it. Right, okay, broaden it. Well, uh, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so uh, so right. euthanasia and uh, synesthesia and other things that end with Asia or Sia are like states of being. Um, hey, so no, we're not going to bark. I've had enough of it. It's the state of being in in a in a barking. It's it's the state of wanting to bark. No, um, right before you're about right, to bark. Right before you're about to bark, you want to bark. You're like, wait, uh, I feel a bark coming. So been there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it's, it's, uh, why is there a thing? Why you go away? All right, good. Uh, um, is it, is what's, that... what's funny about this is that you're both like dancing around the actual stuff. Are we really? <laughs> yeah. Um, is or there, no, is I mean, there like a... vaguely, but. Yeah, well, that's the story of my life, right? Vaguely aware of what's happening. Um, Not the is barking, there, it, the other stuff. <laughs> oh, is there um, for certain a, um, um, is that pronunciation the correct? I think so, as far as I can tell, because I read it in yeah. a book and then I looked it up and that's how people were pronouncing it. Because I was like, yeah. I don't know what that means. So feel free to pronounce it some other way. I mean, it could also be related to like agoraphobia, in which case it would be like uh, being in a place where you are, it's too open. Feeling like things are too open, too much space. The feeling of, of there being too much space around you, Azurasia. I threw a blanket over the I dog. I feel really bad for that person who has it. They're just like in a field freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much space. Well, it's, it's, it's what about Bob, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. I, 
I just can't figure out what the first four letters could possibly mean. The ager part? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe it is is a, like the study of like elder Asian populations. <laughs> no. A little on the nose, but... <laughs> a little on the nose. Because or maybe you're splitting it down the middle wrong. That that would be that would be uh that would be a different. Yeah, but what does rasia mean for crying out loud? That would be a, it would be a different word. If it was the study of of elderly people or or older people. That's yeah. there's a there's another more scientific word for that that has like Latin roots that is not age. So I I'm, I'm fairly sure that has nothing to do with age. What does ager mean? A g e r. Uh, well, let me pull out my, my Latin to English dictionary that I have right here. Yeah. Why didn't you get that earlier? <laughs> <laughs> earlier in the show. Why did you get that in episode three? <laughs> I learned in Catholic school that agar means uh, yeah. a, a small self-combusting bush. That's frightening. <laughs> You're like walking down a trail. Yay, though, he walked along the agar. <laughs> it's dangerous. Um, <laughs> Joseph, yeah, I feel yeah, like when Joseph. we find out what this is, it's going to be like, a, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's not, it's not thrilling. I mean, like, it's not the adrenaline rush of your power going out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my mind went a little batty there for a minute. Like... My mind would too. I, I need to lock the Florida. doors and uh, maybe think about survival here. Like, what's our food situation? Like, it it got a little weird for the last three minutes of that ten minute outage. Blood pressure was rising. I was like, "What if this is a long thing?" Holy shit! <sighs> well, surely at some point, either either power or cell cellular service or something would would be accessible at some point. One would think, yeah, it would normalize, yeah, yeah. I don't think I. I people like were Plus doing all sorts of disaster planning here when like things started getting serious with the, the pandemic, and like, like Aaron's uh, sister-in-law or sister's boyfriend, my my sister-in-law's boyfriend was like, yeah, and we can. Like we can rig you up with a with a generator. Um, oh, we lost Allison. We can rig you up with a generator uh, if uh, if your power goes out to her parents on a call. And I'm like, I really don't think we're going to be in a place where the grid goes down and it's not possible for it to come back up again. Yeah, like, I agree with you. <laughs> We're, we're not you. we're not we're not at zombie apocalypse time we're not like the workers aren't it's not like like electricity workers are, are essential like they're still going to work it's not like we're shutting down the power grid because there's like yeah it it's not um, it's not a thing eventually I, uh, the power will come back yeah i i uh, i get that but the floridian in me was thinking like immediately like hurricane right i don't have enough water I haven't charged the batteries and everything I own. This is going to suck for three or four days, you know? Um, and I can't run out and get that stuff immediately because... Yes, that part of it is true. Like, if there was something that was was on top of uh, what is already happening, like, and not being able to go to, like, grocery stores or not wanting to go to grocery stores because of possible contaminants... Uh, then, then that's definitely a, a very real thing to to be worried about. But I feel like the rest of things, you know, unless we start a war with North Korea or something, are, are fairly under control. Have you seen the movie A Quiet Place? No, and and now that that you're is bringing that, that up, John? is that something that I don't want to see after having this conversation? No, I I actually I really I don't like um, scary movies generally, um, but I really enjoyed it. It is like a suspenseful type movie. It's not like a slasher movie or anything, but. Can you remind me that that's the one like where, without giving away any plot to Chris? Um, you... the, there's like uh, weird creatures that react to any sort of sound and you have to be as quiet as possible. Hmm. Oh, and there's a sequel coming. Yes. 
Yeah, I haven't seen that, that one a, yet. Is that already out or no? It was supposed to come out during all this. I don't know if it actually did. So it, it's like it's like the the Weeping Angels in Doctor Who, except with sound. Yeah, and they're like, it's just really scary. <laughs> <laughs> the first scene is like it sets it all up perfectly, and you're just kind of like, because you're I'm I don't know I went into it being like this can't be that bad. Like this is fine, but you're I just. Can- on- you're on pins and needles the whole time for this family, so. I too am not a fan of scary movies, and I really enjoyed this one. It's it was it was not like a. It was not like the surprise, like, whatever. Yeah, it's not like it a was, slasher, like Michael Myers situation at all. Like it's. Yeah, it was legitimately frightening. Well, those aren't scary. Parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those are just I, dumb. There's, I'm a suck. Well, I'm a sucker for like the jump. Yeah. No, I mean it's, like it's that, true. I I used to I used to watch so many of those. Uh, movies that like they didn't affect me anymore and now if I go back and watch something like like most of the time I, I like am expecting things and I, I don't I don't get caught by the jump cuts but every once in a while and then like I jump and then that makes Aaron jump and then yeah, yeah. <laughs> so actually and then and then she like punches me really hard and yeah My uh, my daughter has a really low tolerance for for creep of any kind, mm. um, so we tend to avoid things that have any sort of like even like I made a I made a um, I made various playlists for for role playing, and I made a playlist that was all like suspenseful music, and even just mentioning that there is a playlist for suspense, like she's like. You're never playing that, right? I'm like, no, I'm gonna play it every once in a while. It's like, no, you're never playing that. Oh. <laughs> it's like just knowing that it's out there is it's is like enough. ready, yeah. ready to be yeah. skittish. Like we we started watching Buffy, um, mm-hmm. first season of Buffy, and that was that was too much. And and like the first season is probably spookier than the rest of the series. Yeah, because it's more it's more based on its roots of of like horror slasher yeah that's true but um but yeah no it was that was that was too much well, and like i, I, I feel like buffy is very, quiet place. <laughs> i feel like buffy is like is like like it has those moments but it's also like fun and like playful and like making fun of everything like satirical and especially yeah. in the first season there is like a like there's that tv show feeling of like nothing really bad can happen yeah <laughs> like yeah but the I, the, the kids have later season the kids haven't figured that out or or at least that's not a conscious thought when we're watching stuff like yeah. even when things are happening even when we say like it's not really like he's not really gonna die this episode because if he did then there wouldn't be the rest of the series yeah. like it's it's not it's not there for them in the same way that it would be for um yeah it's you still know, super us cool. Yeah, like we were watching, we were watching uh, Cowboy Bebop, and like, there's one point where Spike gets shot, and you think that he's dead, and he's like lying in the snow, um, like not moving, and 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 like, and she's like, oh, you know, like, and, and we're like, but he's not really dead because that would be kind of almost the end of the show. <laughs> like, we've got a lot more. <laughs> like, there's, there's more to come. It's, it's okay. Now, if we're in the last season, then you should be. You start getting nervous. Yeah. One. but but yeah. mostly if it just game just if it's game of thrones <laughs> i mean if you're in any season of game of thrones honestly you're just terrified that everybody that you like All is gonna die and wrong. then they do so you know yeah. <laughs> the people that you hate are the people that end up living and then you end up not hating them as much and yeah it's just you know you like, game of thrones is like a game of attrition like like <laughs> all the characters yeah. that you hated at the beginning like you end up like not hating just because they're still around. Like, You're like, well, they survived. You, everybody else that you cared about is <laughs> gone. But like these people that you, you thought were stupid or horrible at the beginning, like, well, they're not as bad as this guy over here. They survived. Yeah. They're not they as got bad as that it, guy so that punched so out the dude's eyeballs. Oh, <laughs> All right. So, Azure Asia, I need an answer. Uh, yeah, because we're running, we have 10 minutes remaining. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> ah, all the messages from Zoom, I know, I know. Um, it's from ancient Greek, and it means an outward appearance more youthful than one's true age. Or, uh, like, another phrase for it would be, like, un- uncountable in ancient Greek. 
So it's like when someone's like totally the opposite, where you're like, wow, I can't believe they're 80. <laughs> the end. So, so when, when people make comments to me like, I, do, I look exactly the same as I did in college, uh, then, which is not true, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then that would be... No, wait, who uh, says that? The people you knew in college or the people no, who know you now? people who know me now. Oh, wow. Huh. Interesting. I, it's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> and not just because of the facial hair either. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so that would, that would be Azurasia is like a, a feeling that the person that you're looking at uh, does not appear to age. Yeah. Like really good for their age. Now on to the quiz. <laughs> Can we the do the quiz, quiz, in, quiz. In, in, in eight minutes? Um, yes, because it's a non-quiz quiz. Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. a non-quiz quiz. Yeah, I know exactly. I'm like, get ready. <laughs> uh, the title of the quiz is Meal or Snack. Okay. <laughs> so the first is there, hot is dog. There... Meal, meal or snack? Meal. Uh, is there a both? <laughs> It I guess on the context. I, it depends on the context. You can't use that for all your answers, though. You get two. But I bolts. might. But, but you get two <laughs> both. Two both. Okay. <laughs> then I'm declaring right now that peanut butter jelly, peanut butter and jelly sandwich is both. That's my second both. The hot <sighs> dog and peanut list. butter and jelly Not sandwich are both. <laughs> hot, hot dog is a meal. I don't, okay. I don't like just one though. A hot dog. Yeah, just one is not a meal. You know, there's nothing wrong with eating light. Like I, I do, I've done that for lunch. I've eaten a hot dog for lunch and nothing you else. Know, these are different you know, times, maybe, to be asking these questions. That's fair. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Yeah. Pita, pita, and hummus. Snack or meal? Snack. Snack. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Nachos. No, I definitely had this a meal. Nachos. Meal. Uh, yeah, that could be a meal. It, it, although, like, I guess if you if you got it at like. If it's the kind of nachos that you get at like a sports stadium, like a sports game, where it's just like a tub of cheese and then like a, a bowl it's of cheese, cheese or something, it's not cheese. Well, right. I mean, cheese, but bare, like cheese. bare bones, the skeleton. Yeah, then that's not. I mean, that's not. That's but, is that really even nachos at that point, or is that just like? I mean, it's called that's a, that's nachos very, on the menu. Like you order nachos. Yeah, that's very generous. I, I, I a very I generous definition. I agree. That's not a nacho that I would want. Yeah. Yes. Uh, slice of pizza, meal or snack? A meal. slice of pizza. Meal. Yeah, meal. I'll, I'll go meal. with that. I don't know why yeah. that that that's better than a single hot dog, though. Yeah, meal. <laughs> I have I, really weird logic. <laughs> it's fine, but it's a meal. I, I'm yeah, with you. So interesting. Okay, <laughs> dumplings, meal or snack? Dumplings, meal. I meal because plural I guess. means that I will eat too many. Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. If it was singular, it would very clearly be snack. <laughs> I was trying to think of like dumplings that I've had like ever, like anything really? that would fit into that category. As oh. a meal, or like just generally, yeah. just generally. I love yeah. Chinese dumplings of any sort. Okay, meal replacement bar, meal or snack? Snack. <laughs> snack. <laughs> yeah. It's even in the title. <laughs> it's a replacement. <laughs> Uh, empanadas, meal or snack? Now, this is a weird one. I'm going to go with snack because that is most often how I've consumed them. I'm trying to like, well, can, can I, can I have a, a ruling on, on the definition of an empanada, please? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I mean, um, I, I'm, like I'm the having, size? Because they do come I, in I'm different just, sizes, no, I guess. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like having trouble picturing it in my head. It's it like, some, um... A fried thing, typically cheese. Uh, yeah, cheese and something else inside a fried thing. Okay. Uh, like maybe okay. the size of a taco ish normally. Okay. But closed all the way around. Okay. Kind yeah, of yeah, like yeah. a Mexican calzone. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll call that a meal. Oh, interesting. Okay, a cinnamon bun. Meal or snack? Mm. Snack. 
that's a Buns breakfast. Be that's, a that, 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 that's a meal. I mean, if you, if you eat it not at breakfast time, then it's not a meal. But but if it, if you so eat it, it could it, be like what, dessert. Yeah, or it could be dessert. It could be dessert. But if, like if you ate it like in the afternoon, at, like two thirty, then it would be a snack. But otherwise, it's it's a it's a meal. I like I like where you go with this. Like you're saying, like it very distinctly, it, it corresponds to meal breakfast so when you have it there at that time of day it's a meal yes. otherwise if you like permission to have it the rest of the day you have to have it as, as a snack yeah that's fine <laughs> as long as that that makes the eating most, it in the middle of the afternoon it makes the most sense to me out of all the answers for some reason i'm like oh, okay <laughs> yes of course boundaries i see yeah uh, <laughs> it's like eating it's like eating cereal for dinner like that's not really a meal the, the only thing that's changed about the cereal is the time of day but like if you're eating it for dinner, like that's not a good dinner. That's not that's not a meal. Right. Mm. So would you requalify some of the things I've suggested as technical meals, but just bad meals? Oh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> like not like, the like a hot dog meal? would probably be a bad meal. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue against that. That's totally fair. Good snack. Uh, bad meal. Yeah, I'm not at my I'm not my, my my best when that's my my lunch, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Like, I know we can all make do, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, quesadillas, meal or snack? Meal. Uh, it depends on if you put something other than cheese in the middle. Okay. I mean, even with so just kind of Similar the to the nachos. Like, if it's deluxe, then... Yeah, yeah. I think mm. that if it's just a basic... I mean, I guess, it, I guess it would still qualify as a meal. I would just want it to be more than... I would want more than that, that thing. But... <laughs> That's okay. You can want more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's I want the my, end. Well, my case of, are, are well, my case idea to have more than just cheese in it. Yeah. We had spaghetti last night, so that's my lunch today. So meal, not snack. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that qualifies as a meal. Although that's another thing where like, yeah, but if it's just spaghetti and sauce, I kind of want I kind of want there to be more than that. I, we I need some leftover vegetables. Else. We have um, Brussels sprouts and we also have um, broccoli and cauliflower. How do you prepare Brussels sprouts? Because I roast the not... crap out of them. Okay, that's um, the only way I seem to like them. And I'm like, are yeah. people doing other things to them? Like, run it in a cast iron skillet last night. It was really nice. Yeah, really nice. So not dissimilar from roasting, but I think that there was like crust around them. Yeah, yeah. cuts them in half, so the crust on the cut side. Oh, yeah, that's what we I'm had. Uh, we had these these Brussels sprouts. We went to when we went to Monterey last year. I don't know time. Um, it's not. It's an abstract concept. Uh, we went to Monterey last year, and we went to went to the didn't we went to have lunch in the restaurant in the aquarium, um, and we got uh, like roasted Brussels sprouts. Like actually, there's like I don't know if they were called. They called them like crispy Brussels sprouts or something. But they're like super super roasted, so they're super crispy, and they're also like marinated in this like this like orange sauce sort of. So like they were like. They're crispy and sweet and salty and there's, yeah. But like, we make them, we make them and just like roast the crap out of them. Like you want to get them to like the point where they're not, not quite burnt, but also like still like crispy on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Anything less than that is, is not good. Yeah. Okay. I was like, maybe it's just my personal taste and just a like having boiled ones when I was younger or something, but like, Ooh. yeah. Living I'm not sure why, why parents like that boiling Brussels sprouts. What? Well, it's not just Brussels sprouts. It's like all vegetables were boiled at one point or other. Like, and boiled vegetables is probably the worst way of cooking any vegetable. <laughs> like, I can't imagine, a, a, besides maybe corn on the cob, I can't yeah. think of any vegetable that would be even okay boiled. You know what I really like is steamed carrots. Steamed steamed, carrots. steamed any vegetable is immensely superior to boiled that vegetable. Boiled. Without yeah. a doubt. Everything I was thinking of, I was like, no, I'm not thinking boiled, I'm thinking steamed. Yeah. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at @binaryjazz. 
Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the forum on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz. Thank you.